Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a glass text effect like this in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's go ahead and get started on this. It is a pretty simple effect to pull off. So what we're going to first do is import our footage. In this situation, I am going to use this footage right here, which is that space footage that you just saw. I'm going to then duplicate the footage up by one. To do that, I'm going to hold the Alt key and click and drag up by one. Command key on the Mac does this as well. We now have two layers of exactly the same footage on top of each other. We're then gonna to go to the effects and we're gonna look for two effects. One of them is gonna be this bevel alpha effect and the other one is going to be a track mat. So take the bevel alpha, drag it on top, and then the track mat key, this one right here, and drag that one on top too. Both the effects are going on to the top layer right here. We're then going to go into our text tool and we're gonna create some text here. So we can click on the text tool, it may be down here, maybe over here. Once you find it, click on your footage and put anything in. I put sector five, that's a big space thing, you can do anything you want. So we could say um, outside Mars. We're then going to take the font and everything and make sure that we are at a correct size here. So we're going to go down here and we're going to shrink it down so it fits pretty well. Then if you have this selected, you can then click these two buttons to center it perfectly in the center like so. We are then going to go into the effect controls of space two. We're going to look for our track mat key and we're going to say the mat should be video three. Now you're going to see it disappears on us. We need to make sure our mat is above our bevel like so. The order of the effects matters. If the bevel is on a different place, it's going to make this disappear. So a track mat needs to go up the top, then bevel. Now you can see we have a very faint glass effect happening here. We wanna take this edge effect and bring it up to maybe, I'd say between four and seven is where you wanna go. Uh, the stronger you get, the less glassy it looks and the more like sort of, uh, I guess, pushed out 3D it looks. We want the intensity to be right around 1 to 1.25. Your see is looking good. Now, in this particular scene, we have a light source. If you have a light source, you want to take your light angle and you want to bring it around to that light source. It's going to give it another edge of realism. If we have it all on the left side here and there's a light source over here, it doesn't make it look like it's actually in the scene. But by having it look like the glass is reflecting off the background, we get a cooler effect. We can then go to our text and we can click the scale button in the top left here, right at the beginning, move forward about, I don't know, four or five seconds, and then just have it scale up a touch. And that'll create the motion as it moves across, it'll slowly go through. Now there's two options you can do here as well. First off, you see that it's a perfect glass effect, meaning that the, it's perfectly see-through and nothing's refracting. To give that little reflect, refraction effect, if you go to space, the top one, where we have all of our effects, and increase that scale to like 120, it's going to make your text a little larger, but you'll see that now it's moving off to the side a little bit. So you see that little element right there. Let me bring this up. This little element right here is that element right here. This stuff is that stuff, etc. So what it's doing is it's actually grabbing everything and making it look a little more realistic because it's refracting the light in a certain direction. And it's actually refracting it outwards uh, because we scaled it up, which makes it look like as we move forward, it makes it look a little more realistic, like it's actually manipulating the light as it comes through. So that is a quick little tip right there. If your computer begins to run slowly, you may need to render this out. To do that, just create an in point and an out point using the I and O keys or right clicking and hitting go, uh, mark in, mark out. Then click the enter key and you'll see it begins rendering like so. Once it's done rendering, it'll run flawlessly. But that is it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below. I have a course out if you wanna take a look at that course. It teaches you Premiere Pro from the ground up. It is uh, really affordable and it is a awesome way that you can advance your Premiere Pro skills and become a master at Premiere Pro. So check the link in the description for that. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, and until next time, guys, see ya.